So SSG is now a zero config layer over Sapper. And I just wanted to show how it works to get some feedback and um, also do some documentation. So here I have a readme, very simple folder with basically no code. Um, I have a very simple dependency here in the package JSON. That's about it. I have some static files and I have some data. Uh, I'm not going to use the data in this demo, but just know that it's there. And so I've got nothing else, and I just wanted to show you how to spin up a site with SS SSG. So I'm going to run yarn add SSG. Um, and in the meantime, I can start scaffolding out stuff. The, the bare minimum that you have to give it is a source with a routes. Um, and then I'm just going to do an index.svelte with an h1 hello world. Okay. So that's the only coding I've done. Um, SSG comes with a couple of commands. Um, so run. So one of them is dev. There's no config, so it's just continuing as a regular Sapper app, but with fallback. So now we've loaded it up. Notice I don't have any rollup or webpack config. I have a rollup config that ships internally with that. Um, so that's great. And now what I want to do is uh, pull in my pull in the rest of my site. Hmm. Actually, let me let me just like eject. So there's there's an injection system. So for example, um, I'm gonna do yarn ssg eject. And these are all the sample files that are in, contained inside of ssg that you can eject and then modify on your own. Um, so let's just say. I'm going to eject the client. Let's just say I'm going to eject the client and maybe the template. Um, so now inside of the client, I can uh, import some CSS, for example. So um, baby.css, uh, body background. And I can import it uh, here. Um, and I can also mess with the template. The template is just a very simple, basic template. Um, and do whatever I want with it. So H1 I from template. All right, so let's go back to dev. Um, and yeah, that's a, that's a very nice demo of what it's going on. So I'm going to kill this and swap it out with actual data. Uh, so an actual pre-coded site, I have this hidden inside of the backup. So I'm going to be down here. Um, so inside of this source folder now, I have routes with some, with some code. I have clients, I have server, um, some service worker stuff, as well as a modified template. Um, so, so yeah, um, now I can just run this site. Um, I've also installed SiteKit, which is um, Svelte's design system. So now I can load this up and I'll have a, a documented site uh, that I can run. Uh, basically with you know just the bare minimum amount of stuff um, that I want to use and no more no less um, I do want to I do I do want to add data so let's just talk about how to add data um, so let's I'm just gonna read this okay so now let's talk about how to add data um, SSG relies on uh, having a data route uh, and that's just kind of hacking the sapper system so let's, let's uh, scaffold out the data route over here. The data route is simply a uh, function that gets a key and a value uh, split by this underscore thing. Um, and then it just uh, goes and gets uh, main index and data slice from somewhere. Um, so where we'll get that is inside the ssg.config.js file and then do something like exports.getdataslice 
blah, blah, blah. And then, um, and then we'll also get the uh, get index. And then we'll also get the get index command and blah, blah, blah. Um, so you can do whatever arbitrary code you want up front, um, and that's the rough API. I have this pre-done already in my backup, so I'm going to go and copy over what I've done previously. And there's also a post-export hook um, that just, uh, all right, just reads out some of these files. So, so for example, on the events page, I can put in some preloading uh, information. Uh, it fetches that data endpoint with the key and the value that I want. Um, and then I can expose it as a prop and print it out in my actual code. Let's just put it down here. Um, and now when I refresh, or it just auto reloads, then I'm getting that data um, all the way down here, from down here inside of my static config. So that's a, that's a nice segue into all the data pipelines that you can build in, in this setup. One final note, um, MD specs is also configured by default, so you can just uh, write MD specs and it just works with the layout that you choose from over here. Okay, that's it. Cheers.